left to jump and it's Corto Scar, the three-time Betfair chase winner from Diamond Harry. Long run under pressure, over four out. Corto Scar pops over by two lengths. Long run is trying to chase him. He may have outstayed him in the Gold Cup. He's going to have to find something today. Approaching the third last, the final open dish, and it's Corto Scar, this chasing legend. He's over safely. Long run hasn't given up in second, and now Ruby Walsh is getting to work. Weird Al is plugging on. Diamond Harry can't go on. They've got two fences left to jump. It's always a gruelling race, the Betfair chase. It's going to be tough. Corto stars over. Long run, but three or four lengths down in second place. Then Weird Al, one fence left to go. Corto stars getting tired. Long run is closing just by two lengths now between the pair. Corto star from Long Run at the final fence. A brilliant jump again from Corto star. He's clear of Long Run as they race up towards the line. Sensational comeback by Corto Star and Ruby Walsh. A most magnificent round of jumping. And the roof has come off the stand here at Haydock. A jubilant Paul Nichols who had this champion horse, the like of which we'll be lucky to see again. He had him absolutely primed for this race today. His fourth win in the Betfair chase. Four King Georges as well. Two Gold Cups. What a horse this is. What a performance. As they go towards that six from home now in the Betfair chase. Madison du Burley, Imperial Commander, taking him on. Corto Star a couple of lengths away and Ruby still sitting pretty. Notre Pairs pushed along as they go towards another ditch. This completes the jumping in the back straights. Imperial Commander, the Ryanair winner, over a couple of lengths up. Madison de Burley in tight and Corto Star now moves up to Stork, Imperial Commander. And immediately Madison de Burley is under pressure. It's hard work for Notre Pair and it's game on as they leave the back stretch behind them. Imperial Commander about to take a journey into the unknown. Corto Star sitting, just waiting to pass. Madison du Burley four lengths away and then Notre Pair and Halcon Genelade. Heads turn for home then in the Betfair chase and Corto Star ranges up to Imperial Commander and with almost every hoof beat these two are going further and further clear. So four out, Imperial Commander pricks his ears, jumps well, it keeps him a length and a half up and now Ruby's niggling away on Corto Star, uh, gives him a slap down the neck and Imperial Commander never been this far in his life before down to the third last, an aggressive ride here, an attacking ride from Paddy Brennan in a little close and Corto Star now at his quarters they're miles clear of Madison de Burley two to jump in the Betfair chase and Corto Star Ruby Waltz serving it up to the game Imperial Commander the penultimate fence Corto Star on the right uh, Imperial Commander as one and now a quarter mile to travel and want to jump and Corto Star striking on here from Imperial Commander Madison de Burley a remote third Corto Star a length up Imperial Commander back for more Corto Corto Star joined again by Imperial Commander. Corto Star will have to dig in bravely. Imperial Commander won't lie down. Corto Star, his game, Imperial Commander, back again on the near side in a desperate finish. Corto Star and Imperial Commander heads it in at the line. Imperial Commander and Corto Star in a thriller to the Betfair chase. Vesele, then Irish Cavalier and See You at Midnight looking well held now as Coney Gree leads the penultimate ditch. See You at Midnight's pulling up. Coney Gree over five out in front, but Q Card is right on his tail. Brennan sitting quietly. Sylvini Arco, Conti and Noel Feely three lengths away in third. A couple away to Vesele. Irish Cavalier is struggling and it's the Gold Cup winner Coney Gree to the dual bet fair chase winner Q Card. They stare each other in the eye. Rounding the final turn, Vesele has moved up up to dispute third with Silviniaco Conti who's being ridden along. Coney Grease asked for a little bit more now by Johnson but Brennan is still sitting quietly on cue card. He glances across into the last half mile. Four out coming up to them. Cue card and Coney Gree look set to fight this out all the way up the straight and cue card is spring heeled over the fourth last. He bounds into the lead. Johnson is now crouching low on Coney Gree. They've drawn miles clear of Vesele. Silviniaco Conti is back in fourth and it's 
cue card. Approaching the last of the ditches. Coney Gris is still chasing. There's only two lengths between them. Brennan shakes up cue card. Coney Gris finding a bit more for Johnson's urgings, but still cue card. Travels strongly. On the run down towards the second last from Coney Gris. Here's two out. Cue card. Steps over. He's doubled his advantage over Coney Gris. Vesele is a remote third. And then Silviniarco Conti. There's one left to jump in the bet fair chase. And cue card is drawing further clear into the wings of the final fence. Hold your breath. He's over. He gets away from it. Six clear from the Gold Cup hero. Coney Gris back in second. Brennan shakes him up to make sure. But cue card is powering away. It's a third Betfair chase success. Cue card, a horse in a million and a landmark week for Brennan. Rans out in fine style. Shortens into it looking for a stride, wasn't quite as fluent. And Kauto Stars move right through to head the chase now as Snoopy Loopy comes off the bridle. Ollie McGurn disputing third, Cloudy Lane and Exotic Dancer still at the rear of the field. Last ditch is five from home, Tamarin Blur. Five to six lengths clear from Kauto Star, just trying to ensure that the leader doesn't get away. Snoopy Loopy continuing to dispute second, Exotic Dancer's got on his customary position, following Corto Star, hoping this time that the roles will be reversed in fourth place. Cloudy Lane just briefly tapped for toe. And Ollie McGurn, for whom this hasn't really been a happy hunting ground, is once again ridden along at the rear of the field. So halfway round the turn for home, four fences to take in the Betfair chase. And Tamarin Blur leads Kauto Star. Towards the inside is Snoopy Loopy, Exotic Dancer, as Tamarin Blur got into the bottom of that. An exotic Dancer pecked back in the field, and Tony McCoy all of a sudden that's disrupted his equilibrium. Kauto Start just being niggled to try and close Tamarin Blur at this stage. Cloudy Lane goes well back in the field, and Kauto Start made a mistake. And all of a sudden he's going to have to work here because he was off the bridle before that error. And Tamarin Blur, Kauto Start switched to the near side. Snoopy Loopy is rallying. This is two from home. Tamarin Blur from Kauto Star, Exotic Dancer back in third, and Kauto Star's going to have to dig very deep here because Tamarin Blur still leads on the run down towards the last. Kauto Star, Snoopy Loopy, and Exotic Dancer, they all bunch up, but Tamarin Blur is going to lead at the last. Kauto Star produces an error at the final fence and decant San Thomas when with every chance the Betfair crown has gone, and Tamarin Blur, Exotic Dancer, and Snoopy Loopy, Tamarin Blur all out, Exotic Dancer, Snoopy Loopy be down the outside is going to win the bet fair chase. Bristol to May just asked uh, a little bit more coming off the final part of the bend. Leads by a couple lengths to Clanders over and lost in translation now, trying to bridge the gap. They close in on the fourth last. Bristol to May. Spring heel jumped it well. Clanders Obo inching closer, lost in translation, looking held. He hasn't found much under pressure and he's looking cooked now back in third. And it looks to be a straight fight between the grey Bristol de May and Clanders Obo, who's breezing into it on the left. Here's the last of the ditches. Bristol de May by only three parts of a length. Daryl Jacob glances across to his left. He should have looked right because Sam Twiston Davis has brought Clanders Obo on the near side, right alongside. Heading towards the second last in the Betfair chase. Clanders Obo serves it up to Bristol de May, but the grey is plucky and he still just had the lead. And now Clanders Obo has to be ridden. They're miles clear of lost in translation and it's Bristol de May who's pulled out a bit more, approaching the final fence, moving on. He jumps it well, he gets over it, four clear from Clanders Obo, now running on instinct. They've got half a furlong to cover, and it's Bristol de May. Clanders Obo trying hard, but he isn't getting any closer, and it's the silver-coated king of Haydock, Bristol de May, who regains his Betfair crown. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.